Hello, it's Linda with No Frills ASMR. I um I have this big bag of their tops to bottles of, of booze. And I used to deal a lot with recycled materials. I still do somewhat. Um, you know, like using them for art projects. And I found this bag in my studio just now and thought maybe we could look through it and just see what's in here and see if, if we have any ideas of what to do with the things within this bag. <laughs> um, I don't know if this would really interest anyone. But we'll see. Look at that, it looks kind of cool on the camera. It's like a flower. Like, okay, hold on. Look, it's like a rose. So this is a cork top from a Patron tequila bottle. Um, I can't remember what my idea was now. I started saving these like 20 years ago <laughs> and not that long, 10 years ago. But um, I forget now what I was going to do. They'd make kind of cute, like, little mushrooms, though, for, like, a garden. Oh, you know what I need? Hold on, let me see this. For my beekeeping, um, by the way, I'm still working on catching a swarm. They've started to swarm around my nuke, which is what you call the box that the bees originally swarm into. So I'm still working on catching a swarm. I have a video kind of about my beginning <laughs> beekeeping experience, if you're curious. But this makes me think of an idea. I think what I could do is use these, almost like little mushrooms, and put them in a pot of dirt, you know, so they're sitting upright like this. And then I'll drill a hole in the top, like a like a bowl shaped hole. I'll just kind of drill it around and then I can put water in there and it can be a water source for my bees because you need to have a water source but you don't want them to be able to apparently bees aren't all that smart <laughs> no I'm just kidding they're very smart but they fall into water and drown like a lot of people find them in their swimming pools so if you keep bees, you have to have a water source nearby to keep them from going into other people's swimming pools and stuff. But I think these might be really good for that because they could like sit on the edge. And if I made a kind of a circle like that, <laughs> and then I like drill that out so it's like a little pool Okay, so I'm going to keep these for that, and I think I have a few of these. I didn't drink all this liquor, by the way. I, um, I used to have full access to a glass recycling facility where I could find bottles, and then my dad and my uncle would go bottle hunting. And a lot of times the bottles would have these uh, tops in there. So between us, this is just one bag. I think this bag was at my dad's house, but I have a lot of them. <laughs> I think I have a box somewhere. But these are nice because they're, they're cork. 
so I do think they'll hold water really nicely. And look how many I have. I think I can do like a whole, whole little thing of them. drill those out. If I get it done, and I won't do it for a couple weeks, but if I get it done, I'll take a picture or something and show you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we have here. This is a little wood cork. It's probably, it's from some bourbon. Oh, wait, there it says right there. Elijah Craig bourbon. So, I'm not sure what I'll do with Now this is wax from a, I think it's a Tangeray bottle. And if you go to the Tangeray distillery, I think they let you take a bottle and dip it in the wax. And I'm not sure why. I think my dad kept it because he had this idea I could remelt the wax and then use it. <laughs> This is from a Crown Royal bottle, and I do sometimes use these in art projects I do. Um, I put them back on the bottle, like wire them on. All right, what have we here? Oh, uh, I think this is like a gin or something called Red Rooster, something like that. It's cute. I don't quite know what I'll do with it. One thing I could do, I'm not sure if it'll work, but take a board and put different ones on there and people could use them for hanging. Like, see, I don't think they're deep enough to hang like a coat. Maybe I could put a, something in there make them stick out further so you could use them for like hanging your coat or something I don't know I'm gonna have to think on that what is this one this is oh this is a vodka called um it's called something 360 <laughs> I can't remember but it's like organic vodka um it's kind of nice it's like a glass or ceramic cap, but I don't have any idea what I'll do with this. <laughs> I don't know why I kept it. I think I kept these. It just seemed like there should be something to do with them, but I'll probably throw these away. I don't know. How many do I have? I have a few. another rooster. Put that with the rooster. Um, yeah, it turns out the one I'm most excited about so far are these because I have a definite idea. Here's another crown royal. I, I'll keep these because I definitely, I definitely use them. a uh, Kentucky bourbon, I think. Yeah. I have bottles to go with those, so here 
here, 1792. That's a bourbon. I think it's also a Kentucky bourbon. My dad, you know, he lives in Tennessee. So he's very close to Kentucky. So he had, um, at his recycle centers, they would have lots of Kentucky bourbons. What is this one? Pre-prohibition. Um, I can't quite read what this says. Revival. Weeded bourbon. Let's take this paper off and see if we can read it better. I don't know if we can. Ah, it won't come off. We have to get it wet to take it off. Oh, here we go. Oh, that didn't really go very well. <laughs> yeah, I have to get it. If you get it wet, then the paper will come right off. I just want to read this one. I guess it says Whiskey Revival, but then what's the brand? It's under here. Where's my Windex? I could let it sit while we talk. I'll just use a little, <laughs> little spit on there. We'll see if that comes off. Okay. Another Elijah Craig. Another Crown Royal. Oh, this one is Jack Daniels Holiday Select. And it has three whiskey barrels. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything anymore. Yeah. Jack Daniels is Tennessee whiskey. Um, so, it would make sense. My dad would find that. Crown Royal is, I think that's Canadian whiskey, isn't it? I think so. What is this one? Oh, that, I think that's wild turkey. Because it looks like a turkey. That's why I'm guessing. But it seems fancy because isn't wild turkey like cheap, like in a plastic bottle? What else could it be, though, with that bird on it? It's probably definitely, <laughs> probably definitely. Some kind of either Kentucky or Tennessee bourbon. I can't think what else would have a bird. Must have been a... There's no way wild turkey is a fancy like thing like this. Hmm. I don't know. Not sure. Um, this one's unmarked, but it might be Woodford Reserve. They have a... What does that say? L H L H. And then it has like hands or angel wings or something on here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. <laughs> L H. I can't think of. There it says, oh, let's see, expression 1010. <laughs> I can't think of a bourbon with LH. Another hand-selected Jack Daniels single barrel. So another Jack Daniels. I think I cut it off because I was trying to do something with it. <laughs> Let's see. That's cheap plastic. I think this might be a um, Belvedere, if I had to guess. Although, no, because their, their corks are deeper than this. Um, I still think Buffalo Trace Distillery, yeah, that's a Kentucky bourbon. I don't, I can't drink, like, hard liquor. <laughs> it just makes me feel not that great. So I don't really drink it at all. But 
I do think it would be kind of fun to take that Kentucky bourbon tour just oh, here's another picture just to um you know learn about the history because it is interesting they teach you about like prohibition and all that I think tequila el mayor mayor agave this is a white tequila now this I may have actually had myself <laughs> I do sometimes that's the one liquor white tequila I think when I was keto <laughs> I would have that sometimes with lime juice all right what else do we have here another crown royal Club Hague Hague Club Hague Club I think this is gin I feel like this is a blue bottle of gin that I remember I really don't drink gin <laughs> that doesn't agree with me at all okay let's see Oof. is this Woodford history or something Sorry about a cut on my hand. I I cut it at the farm. <laughs> um, I think this might be Woodford Reserve. I'm not sure though, and I don't have an idea for that. <laughs> now this is from a ball jar. <laughs> um, it's a short. Jack Daniels old number seven brand. Look at that. It's solid. It feels like feels like lead. It's so heavy. <laughs> it's solid. This not even hollow. Like these. These are meant to look. This one I've been kind of saving because I think it's really cool. This is 1800 tequila. And I have a bunch of these downstairs. And I had this idea to probably take this off, I don't know, and put a screw in there so that you could put it in and use it as a drawer pull. <laughs> so if you have like a bar, you could put that in as your drawer. That was the idea I had. So I collected a bunch of these. <laughs> and I don't even know if I still have them or if I gave up on the idea. But they're neat. They're glass. They're like a hollow glass. I just hated to waste it, you know. So yeah, it's like hollow. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Seventeen ninety-two. That's a um, bourbon. I think that's a Kentucky bourbon too. And then this is the plastic seal from Tanqueray. So that goes with the the cap. Yeah, that's from Tanqueray. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see if I can avoid. There we go. This one says Buffalo Trace Distillery. Um, I can't tell what the image is there. Is that a buffalo? <laughs> I mean, it 
must be a oh mm. I guess maybe I see the buffalo I don't know <laughs> and another crown royal they all still have their plastic This is plastic and it says LF. <laughs> no idea what that is. Is that all of them? Oh, there's one more crown royal. And one more 1792. So let's see, we have one. We have one, two, this one, whoo, it's heavy, <laughs> two, and three, three Jack Daniels. What is this? This is the bird. I can't think of what that is. What are these ones? Oh, yeah, Elijah Craig. one of these, but I think I have more. The 1800. Let's see. And then these, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of the crown royal. Just a big old mess. I'll probably just throw these three sixteenths away because they're all tangled up, all tangled up in blue. And that ball dry. And then the little plastic from the Tinkeray. All right, let's see. Here we have this LF. 